What's up guys, here at Titan Medical Center headquarters and I'm here with the Titan of eating and training, Mr. Bartley Weaver. What's up my friends, glad to be in the house at Titan right. Bill. Right, right. Here, absolutely. So we're here and uh, today we're gonna start doing some blood work on Bartley and see where he's at, what's going on. Now, like I said, he's a professional eater. He's getting ready for the Super Bowl of eating, right? At right. Nathan's. Yeah, so, uh, Coney Island. Oh, Nothing Coney Island. Like wow. So I've never been there myself, but I've ate a Nathan's hot dog previous, probably 10 years ago. But, you know, <laughs> they were good. But to eat as many as he's going to eat or even his training, it's pretty serious. Um, obviously, here at Type Medical Center, health is number one priority. So we want to start looking at his health, making sure the blood markers are good. Absolutely. We're going to start looking at, you know, some different things. Like his cholesterol, his hemoglobin A1C, his insulin. And a couple other different things. We want to make sure all is, everything's on, on spot, right? Everything's optimal from his hormones all the way down to his, his liver, his kidneys, his vital organs, and his cholesterol, and everything goes along with it. So at that point, he can perform optimally in whatever he's doing. Because he has an IBB pro too, as well. I didn't get to right, mention that. Right. So yeah. I mean, he's just not some you know overweight guy that's just eating a whole bunch of food. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Right. I'm in two extreme sports and trying to be the best that I can be in both of them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So if you don't have your health and you don't have any of these different competitions that you want to do. You got to look, you know, ahead in the future. And that's why I got in touch with y'all. Absolutely. Living here in Tampa now. So yes. looking, looking forward to yes. doing this Nathan's journey with y'all. It'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. That, you know, this is something different that we're adding to the Titan Medical Center as far as ambassadorship, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so at that point, I'm, I'm anxious to see how this all goes down. Right. I want to see his training because, I mean, just talking to him is just it's very interesting because you know going from like just drinking water and all these different things that he's doing but there's no like there's no playbook on how to do this out there this is right. something you got to learn and yeah. you got to talk to other people that are doing this to kind of learn their tricks yeah it's kind of cool man yeah i'm coming to y'all for yeah. the science and absolutely want to keep track of all my markers you know i've been checking my labs probably three or four times a year for mm -hmm. the past five mm -hmm. or six years so I'd like to keep that rolling and, and definitely hone in on what kind of damage am I doing. I know that this is a crazy sport. I'm not going to do it forever, so I want to monitor what's going on as I'm doing it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I'm excited. So let's go get him some blood work. Let's start this journey, start this process. You fall along. You can see what's going on right along with us. Uh, I hope you guys are going to like it because it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun, and I can't wait to see how it happens. And hopefully – He's going to come out victorious in it. the Super Bowl of eating and yeah. making hot dogs. Let's go. What's up guys, John here, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey guys. And we are here for another tight medical movie review. Just for you. Yes, just for you. <laughs> so tonight we got to see Silent Night, and Silent Night is a John Woo film, and anybody that knows John Woo knows he likes to bring the action. He likes to bring explosions and all the good stuff that comes along with it. The kills, everything. So this movie was hyped up to be one of those movies, right? And you know, there was definitely some good action in the movie. Um, I think the storyline could have been improved a little bit, though. You know, I think it was a little bit all over the place. There wasn't really any character development uh, to some sort. You know, maybe the one main character, the guy, you know, you see a little bit in depth, but you really didn't know kind of where he was coming from. It, it touched on it, but didn't, I guess, you know, per se. So there was some really good action, but there were some, some, some stalls in the movie. So. You know, for me, I'm gonna give it, I guess, maybe a like a 3.0 stars. 
Yeah, you know, I was gonna go a little bit lower. I know. Like, how are you gonna go I was lower? gonna go a little bit lower, like maybe a 2.7, but there was some good action. There was some good kills, some good blood. So could have did better, John, but he did pretty good. It's better than some of the crap you see out here these days. So, you know, 3.0 is what I'm gonna give. What about you, Sharice? Um, you know, this movie, I was actually really excited to see it after seeing the trailer that John showed me. And I really, really like violence. If you guys watch my movie reviews, you would know. Um, but in this particular movie, I do feel like it was hyped up to have violence the whole time. And listen, I understand that, you know, some movies, they got to work their way up into, you know, the uh, massive action kill mode, whatever you want to call it. However, not only did it take the entire movie to get to the point where you were in a kill mode to kill people, um, but... I mean, this guy, he spent over a year planning this kill and the kills were not year worthy of the kills of all this planning, right? So, I mean, I guess they, maybe the John Woo character guy here, maybe he tried to make it like more realistic where, you know, it's like this is more realistic. But even so, it just, not, I really, I don't know about this movie. You know, if you guys put it out there like, hey, it's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes for you to get any real good kills and you're gonna have about 10 minutes of killing and it's really not that great. I'd probably still come see the movie, but I would be mentally prepared, mentally prepared with my phone charged and everything, right? So I'm gonna have to give this one mm, closer to like a 1.7. Whoa, that's pretty good. Yeah, I remember that John weighs in very heavy on these movies, right? Because his body is there and he is so fine. So this really weighed in on your movie, Mr. Wu, okay? Because you could have got a lower rating if John was not present. <laughs> so listen, you want a little bit of action, you're a John Wu fan, or you just want to see a good action Christmas movie, right? Come out and see Silent, <laughs> Silent Night, John Wu film. That's another type medical movie review just for you. And my beautiful wife and me will be back for other ones just for you guys, giving you guys our honest, true opinion on these movies, but don't take it from us. Go see it for yourselves. beautiful Orlando, Florida, here at the Ritz-Carlton property. Me and my beautiful wife, Cherise. Hey, everybody. And we are getting prepared for Festival of Speed. It's a beautiful event that happens down here on the property of Ritz-Carlton with all these beautiful cars showing up and showing out. And Type Medical Center is here on the forefront as an amazing sponsor. I think this is, what, our fifth year doing this. Um, you know, but it's a crazy, crazy weekend. So right now, Saturday, we're setting up for tomorrow's event, Sunday, for Festival of Speed. But this is down in Orlando. We also have an event, Carson Couture, back in Tampa tonight. Two car events the same weekend. Well, that's a fashion show. This is a this is more of a car. They event. both involve the vehicles, though. Look they both they both involve the vehicles, <laughs> and the whole thing about it is is it's two hours away. So you have to do two hours driving down here, two hours driving back for the event, and then after the event, two hours driving back down to Orlando to get ready for tomorrow morning, and then two hours back after that event. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long long road but it's okay we're not worried about it this is something we've always, always done successful when we do this yeah right? it, it's like nothing we, we've handled things like this and worse so get ready we're going to show you all the behind the scenes and even more fashion shows car shows we got it all wrapped up into one we'll see you guys this weekend at one of those events and if not don't worry you guys are gonna get to see this awesome video that's going to highlight every single thing so uh we'll see you then hopefully we'll get to see you and if not don't worry you guys get to see the video stay tuned
What's up, guys? We are here. The day is a day with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. I've got some of the Titan and Titanettes with us. And we are here in Orlando, Florida on this beautiful sunny day on Sunday for Festival of Speed 2023 on the Ritz-Carlton property. And man, what a gorgeous setup. We've been doing this for probably about four to five years now. Yep. And man, this is always a spectacular event. Top of the line, classy, and man, the rides that got brought out here today are just off the charts. Yes, they are I mean, nice cars. I'm going around to go check wow. out these cars. Like, wow. Like, you know, thought I had some nice cars. And, man, when you look around some of these other beauties out here, you were just like, man, this is just ridiculous. I feel like a kid in a candy store, a kid that, you know, started seeing uh, these cars yeah. when I was, you know, little. John should be limited to five minutes per area. Because, man, they get <laughs> me excited. High-performance vehicles, high-performance drive body. Man, that's a killer combination right there. So we're going to go walk around. We're going to check out some of these cars, talk to some of the other vendors that we've known because some of these vendors have been here just as long as us. So at that point, we always like to chop it up with them. Relationships, relationships, relationships. It's all about that and networking too as well and making sure that everybody knows how Titan Medical Center can help them feel better, look better, perform better every single day. So come along with us on this beautiful Sunday. Me and the wife here are going to go check out some rides, talk to some people, and have one hell of a time. And you guys are right there with us. Let's go. Let's do it. Great Sunday here at the Ritz Carlton, Orlando, Florida. Man, what a day, I'll tell you that. You know, Sunday, beautiful weather and uh, beautiful cars out here. What'd you think? I mean, I thought it was great. I love vehicles, I love cars and, you know, beautiful people. So yeah. the mixture of the two is a great event. Great event, great turnout. Are you breaking the patterns to create change in your life? Are you creating healthy lifestyle patterns? Well, your environment and your crowd that you hang out will determine a lot of these different factors. If you're hanging out with people that are drinking all day, eating garbage food, not working out, and have no healthy lifestyle, you're probably gonna fall right into that track, right? Birds of a feather flock together. You've heard the whole saying, right? This could be true to you too as well. And your environment. If you're in a toxic environment, nothing's good around you, change these things. When you change these things, change will happen to you. If you change the group of people you're hanging out with, with people that work out, eat good, want to live a healthy lifestyle, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to fall in line with that. If you change your environment from a toxic environment to a positive, encouraging environment, this is gonna change the way that you feel about things. This can change your mood setting, right? All these different things can happen with you creating change by changing the pattern of where you're at in life. Make sure you're making the good healthy lifestyle changes so that you can benefit from all the healthy lifestyle living. Feeling good, looking good, performing your very best, right? Creating a lengthier lifespan for yourself so you can enjoy more of your body out in the world for long extended periods of time and being around your family, friends for a long extended period of time. These things will be your number one priority as you go forward. So make sure you're breaking the bad habits, creating good patterns, creating a good environment, and being around a great crowd that supports you and wants to make sure that you're doing your very, very best. Keep these things in line because this will help you with success for you to get into a healthy lifestyle and creating good, healthy patterns for yourself. So, if you're looking for a pump, you're looking for recovery, and you haven't been on Hercules Potion, you might want to start with Super Titan. Super Titan is one of our awesome therapies that involves five different components. Glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, and L-citrulline. 
Glutamine is going to help that recovery, right? That's in almost every supplement you see over the counter and so on. Then you have arginine L-citrulline. These are precursors to nitric oxide, vasodilation, pump, blood flow, right? Expanding veins. That's what we want to look good, right? Then you have lysine. It's going to help boost the immune function in your body. We know that doing any strenuous activity where you're lifting a car, you're lifting weights in the gym, can't put strain on the immune system and the body. This is going to help support that. Then you have ornithine. Ornithine is going to let you do more strenuous activity. Whether you're running a marathon outside or you're lifting a whole bunch of weights on the inside, we want you to do more reps or to be able to go longer. This should help you out, get a way better expedited result in your gains of whatever it is. So if you're looking for something as a starter, super tight might be the therapy for you. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. There's bl no blood work needed for this. So at that point, you guys will be good to go. Fill out your new patient paperwork, see the medical provider, and get on the way to being your own super tight yourself. In 60 seconds or less, I'm gonna tell you how to get set up with blood work nationwide through Titan Medical Center. So follow along. First step, you're gonna call or text us at 727-389-3220. It's our main line and only number. After you get a hold of us, you're gonna give us your demographics, your full name that's on your ID, your email address, and your phone number. Then we'll collect payment for the labs. After that, you're gonna receive an email with your prepaid lab requisition slip and a link to the nearest lab locations to you. After you receive that email, print up your lab requisition, take it in with your ID, they're gonna draw your blood, you don't have to give them any insurance card or any more money. Then, just wait. Three to four business days later, we'll have the results and we're gonna give you a call to go over those results briefly. It's so easy and so simple, so take advantage of it for your health. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we are here with another episode of Cupid's Corner. So we wanna thank you guys for joining us all the time and learning these tips and tricks that should help your relationship. Uh, it'll help you get to the next level hopefully. It'll help hopefully ignite that spark that maybe was diminished out or wasn't as strong as it used to be before. Mm -hmm. So we have learned these different things through our relationship in 12 plus years going on. And you know, it's trials and tribulations. You gotta work through some of these things. Mm -hmm. But you learn some great things along the way, especially if you stay together, right? And that's that's the object, to have passion and be able to stay together for a long period of time and grow old together. Stick it out. That's what they say in the movies, right? We're gonna grow old with you together. I can't wait till I'm on like a little rocking chair. We're like rocking and just like, oh, this has been <laughs> such a great experience. Hopefully we'll have bionic bodies by <laughs> that point, okay? I don't wanna be sitting we'll see there. John, right. 90 years old, hopping around the backyard. You cute. know I like the new toy, so hopefully they'll have some good technology, and I'm <laughs> sure they will. But you know, this show, we really wanna cover, you know, a couple different things. One, um, kissing or being intimate with your partner. So this is good, and this is good for your health. Um, this actually ups oxytocin in, in the brain, in the body, and it lowers cortisol. So if you don't know what these things are, oxytocin is the happy hormone. Yes. Right? And cortisol is the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I mean, all of you guys, I'm sure, with everything going on, at some point in the past three months, your cortisol levels have probably been elevated because Absolutely. of the stress, you know? Absolutely. From work, your kids, personal things might be going on with mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. So, you know, you want to be intimate with your partner and kiss your partner and you might not know it, but you're actually helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And it does burn a little bit of calories. It's not a lot of calories, but it is, I guess it is some, but you can't, you know, that's not giving you a permission to eat junk food and be like, oh, well, I'll just kiss a lot more. No, that's not the kiss work. is... The kisses turn into other things that are cardiovascular activities, oh. and then you can go eat a piece of cake. And then you can actually tell if you have the stamina <laughs> or not, I guess, and if you need to work on your endurance or not, right? And we have things that maybe can help you do that too. But, you know, it really comes down to that. So be intimate with your partner, kiss your partner, right? Because you'll obviously be helping yourself. So oxytocin, like I said, it's the, it's the happy hormone. It's the mm -hmm. bonding hormone. Um, it's something that opens up trust with your partner okay um it, it, it's good for a lot of different things it's neurotransmitter as far as that goes and then you have cortisol 
So cortisol gets a bad rap. Mm -hmm. You're going to put some cortisol in, it's going to go in the bloodstream. Now, at high levels of anxiety or stress, you're going to release more cortisol into the bloodstream, and that can actually be bad for your health, Mm -hmm. right? Um, And this can cause anxiety. It can cause you to retain water or, you know, fat deposits, you know, at that point. So you want to make sure that you're getting a good stress reliever, too, Mm -hmm. if you're having all this stress. And a lot of people are having stress right now. So... Lower cortisol levels, increase oxytocin levels, and you guys should be good to go. At least in that department anyway. Right? (laughs) So that's one thing. And if we're going to talk about hormones like oxytocin and Mm -hmm. cortisol, we might as well talk about how hormones affect relationships. Mm -hmm. Because it does affect relationships. On many levels. And this can be emotionally, physically, mentally. Um, When I say emotionally, I mean a lot of females out there, even guys, but a lot of females and guys could be either super moody because their hormones are off or they could be really emotional because their hormones are off. And so you have to remember that, you know, say you guys have been intimate for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, whatever. And for some whatever reason, you guys drop off and it's like, well, what's going on? That could very well be a problem. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Your partner might be feeling like, why is this, you know, my partner being distant from me? Might what's think going it's their on? Fault. Is it me? Mm-hmm. What are they doing? What's mm-hmm. going on? It, it wasn't like this. And all of a sudden now it's, it's, it's gotten this bad pattern here, mm-hmm. you know, and then that's not good because, you know, people like affection, right? Especially when you're in this relationship and if it's been going on for that long. Um, now, hormones affect the body in different ways, right? We know that from the brain to the cardiovascular system, your metabolism, uh, keeping lean body mass on, you know, just feeling good all overall, mm-hmm. right? But hormones can obviously damage a relationship too because if the hormones are off, people might be moody, like you said, mm-hmm. and then your partner might feel some type of way about it and right. then they might go a different route. Right. So, I mean, hormones... You might, even, you might not even be interested in the bedroom. Yes. That's a big one. Yes. Especially for females. I'm yeah. just speaking from a female's perspective. Yeah. But if for whatever reason, let's just say that he doesn't want to be intimate anymore. And, you know, it's just... He usually got to... One person's got to start it or another. But if they don't want to be inter- like intimate with you anymore, then you kind of feel like maybe you did something wrong. And you guys haven't fought. Nothing's going on. And you're saying, well... I hope it's not someone else. Right. Now you start thinking all these crazy things, which is never a good thing when it could just very well be low testosterone for a guy. Right. I mean, now our hormones can be affected with different things out there. It's not something you did per se. Mm-hmm. Now it can be toxins in the environment, you know, foods that we're eating from our food sources, uh, EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals mm-hmm. in the air that, that could be affecting you or putting on your body that we're absorbing mm-hmm. that could be affecting hormones. And we see this. We know that hormones are going to decline with age for males and females. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to deteriorate and die. It, it's a fact of life, you mm-hmm. know. You know, you're going to pay taxes and, and you're going to die. <laughs> two things they say that's guaranteed, right? That's what you got to look forward to. But, for sure. you know, so you want to live your best life and most, you know, the quality of life. And that's what hormones can come into play, too. So mm-hmm. hormones can actually help a relationship. So a lot of guys that, you know, they have low testosterone, they might be feeling depressed or, uh, you know, their libido's down or... They just don't feel like themselves, right? They're Motivation, unmotivated, right? Drive. Concentration, yep. you know, all that stuff's there, and they're rare to go. So, at that point, or the energy fatigue too—that's yeah. another one. Um, so, if they, you know, go in and they get blood checked and they get their testosterone levels optimized or back where it needs to be, everything comes back, mm-hmm. right? So now you got one partner that is optimized and ready to go. <laughs> this and happens then, often, and this does happen a lot. We <laughs> get a lot of patients where the male comes in, right? And he gets optimized, he gets feeling back to his old self and we're raring to go. And then, you know, the wife, you know, she's about the same age. And at that point, you know, he's wanting to go all the time and have a good time. And, you know, she's like, oh my God, what's going on here? I just don't feel the same, right? And that's where they usually call up and they say, hey, listen, we want to get help just like my husband or significant other got help. We want to be at that level. We want to feel good like that. We want to get back that feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's where we usually help out couples. And that usually makes a relationship better. We've changed a lot of relationships like that. Yes, yes. It's it's helped a lot of different relationships. Um, Plus, it it helps their quality of life. Mm -hmm. So you're not even just helping the relationship, but their day-to-day life. So Going to work, all that jazz. Getting up. I mean, you know. Being interested in the things you used to do, you know, I mean, that's that's another thing that a lot of people lose sight of. Like, oh, I just don't want to do it no more. There might be a reason why, or, right. you know, if you're feeling depressed. So I mean, that's that's really where it is. And you know, hormones can you know disrupt at 
all different ages. So people think it's got to be a specific age, mm-hmm. at 30 years old as a male, or you know, for girls it, it might be you know 36 or whatever it might be. But you know, like I said, hormones can be disrupted at all different ages. Mm-hmm. Now, especially for females, let's talk about pregnancy in females. So we know when you know pregnancy happens, all different hormones are going on, mm-hmm. right? and then after birth, you know, they usually have depression, mm-hmm. right? Not all the time. Sometimes. 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 You're definitely gonna feel off because your body just went through. You know, this huge change. Well, think about the hormones. Right? So there's a lot of different hormones that are going on at that point. You know, waiting until afterwards, having the baby, making sure you, if you're going to breastfeed and stuff like that. And then mm-hmm. after you're all done with that and it's safe, or if you're using formula, whatever it is, get your hormones checked. See right. where they're at. Um, and at that point, you guys can adjust them and get back to feeling the way that you wanted to. Get that baby body off. Right? Because, I mean, girls want that. They're like, you know, I gained so much weight or I only gained 10 pounds, but I want to get this baby weight off. We have a lot of females that go through that. It, it, it's, it's a fact of life. Right. Like, the, you know, that's what we're here. As, as we procreate, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to affect hormones. Not 22 having a baby anymore, you know. I was 22 when we had our son. Yeah. Everybody yeah. always forgets that me and John do have a little baby boy. Not so little. He's going up. About to be 11. 11 next 11 week. 11 years old. 11 next week. I, my body did pretty bounce much back. bounce back to some degree. Absolutely. But when you're pregnant, you're around your 30s, and you have a baby, it might be a little bit more complicated to bounce back. You might not just bounce back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a hormone correction that went on, though. Females have different things, like PCOS, mm-hmm. uh, or these different things that could be affecting their hormones. Um, so everybody's different, and that's mm-hmm. where blood testing will really tell you what's going on inside your body. And it's not a cookie cutter thing. So you want to make sure that everybody's taking care of you, if that's what it is. Uh, if you want help with your hormones, you can always call or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. Um, check out our website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. And always, great content and things will entertain you on our Facebook, uh, Instagram page, TikTok. You know, we've That's got, a new one. We've got Twitter. So please go there, subscribe. YouTube has all our great videos. We've been open for over eight plus years now. So it's a lot of different content, instruction videos on some of the medications, um, lifestyle videos, just us out and about, having fun at some of the Titan Medical Center events. You'll see a lot more of this around town or around the state of Florida. So get ready. Titan Medical <laughs> Takeover is in full effect. So we want to thank you for tuning in to thank another Cupid's Corner. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Yep. on ABC. Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. We are here for you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.